Somebody shout hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. Uh, firstly, I want to thank God for his provision. He has been my source. He has been provided for me. And I also want to thank God for his protection over my life, over everything surrounds me, and my family. So, church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for our brethren that have given uh, testimonies. Please, let's stretch our hands towards them. Let's thank God. The first testimony this morning is the gift of life. All of us. Let's be on our feet as we give thanks to God Almighty for the gift of life and the salvation of our soul. That the Lord that has done these miracles in the lives of this one, that the Lord it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. The healing shall be permanent. And we thank God for the grace that was sufficient that even when in the face of accident, the Almighty God averted it. Lord, we say thank you. We bless you. We worship you. We thank you for healing. Thank you, God, because you said in our yesterday when our daddy was teaching us that you said you will be with us even till the end of time. Indeed, you have showed up for your children. Father, we say thank you. We bless your name. We worship you. We adore you. We glorify your name. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our Father and our God, eternal rock of ages, we bless you. We worship you. We adore you, the giver of life, the pillar that holds our life, our all in all. Indeed, you are bigger than what people can see in our life. Baba, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Your children has given their testimony this morning. Lord, we pray. Lord God Almighty, it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, O God, that we are alive to witness this day. All glory, all honor, all adoration be unto you and you alone. And the blessings today shall not elude any one of us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' glorious name, we are prayed.
shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God of Abraham, I sing and take off. Verse 1. Psalm 144, verse 1. Let's be upstanding. If you can be upstanding, everybody be upstanding. Let's pray. Psalm 144, verse 1. The Bible says, Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my finger to fight. We are here this afternoon to war and to fight. And as we have come this afternoon, I want us to say, Thank God. Father, we just want to thank you. Father, we want to thank you. Thank you for bringing me this afternoon. Thank you for bringing me this afternoon. As I fight in this war, give me victory. In the name of Jesus, you are the one that teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. I have come this afternoon to fight. Give me victory in the name of Jesus. Give me victory. You are the one that teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Father, give me victory. Give me victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Exodus chapter 11, verse 1. Exodus 11, 1. And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh. God will bring plague upon your enemies. In the name of Jesus. God will trouble your enemies. And upon Egypt, afterward, he will let you go thence. And when he shall let you go, he shall surely trust you out. He will throw you out. He doesn't want to see you anymore. I want you to say, Father, Father, let every contrary wind that is blowing in my direction, let them cease right now. Every contrary wind that is blowing against my life, let them cease right now. Let every contrary wind, let them change direction. Let every evil scheme in my life let them let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go forever. In the name of Jesus. Let that sickness, let me go. Stagnation, let me go. Unemployment, let me go. Marital trouble, let me go. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jeremiah 46, Jeremiah 46, verse 17. Jeremiah 46, verse 17. The Bible says, and they did cry there. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, is but a noise. He had passed the appointed time. That sickness in your life is a noise. The appointed time for that sickness has passed. I want us to go to God and say, Father, Father, that sickness in my life. Is but a noise. It's appointed time in my life has passed. In the name of Jesus. That stagnation is just a noise. It's just a noise. That unemployment is just a noise. That time has passed. The time of that sickness, unemployment, stagnation, disappointment, it has passed. It has passed. It's just ordinary noise. It's just ordinary noise. It's just ordinary noise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And finally, in Nahum, Nahum chapter 1, Nahum chapter 1 verse 7, the Bible says the Lord is good. Do you agree that the Lord is good? 
a strong gold in the day of trouble. The Lord will stand for you in the day of trouble. We are in the days of trouble in Nigeria. The Lord will stand for you in the name of Jesus. And he knoweth them that trust him. I want us to say, Father, you are a stronghold in the day of trouble. You are a stronghold in the day of trouble. Father, let your wind that is blowing in Nigeria blow in my favor. Let your wind that is blowing in Nigeria let it blow in my favor. In the name of Jesus, change the direction of every contrary wind blowing against me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we just want to say thank you. Father, we thank you for this breakthrough service. Father, we thank you because we know that every contrary wind blowing against us we cease henceforth. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want to appreciate our Father and the Lord that the CEO and the CEO for this opportunity uh, this afternoon. The Lord will continue to take me from strength to strength in the precious name of Jesus. Choir, you will help me with um, uh, in 422. Master, the wind is raging. Can you please help me quickly? And let's be upstanding even as we sing. It will be displayed by media.
Father, silence every storm in my life. Peace be still. Peace be still. Every storm in my life, Father, silence. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus, the master of the ocean and sea is lying in my boat. I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I'm born again. Every storm in my life, peace be still. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Let's be seated for a moment before we begin to pray. The bigger your dreams, the bigger your dreams are, the greater the problem you will encounter in life. That is the truth. The greater your dreams, the greater the opposition. And life is war. And life is not only a war, life is a long war. Because as you finish fighting one war, another one will take off again. I remember in the month of March, I was looking for something. I prayed. And by March 19, the thing came true. I was so happy. So I told myself, I said, this night, I'm just going to sleep and rest. And I heard the voice to say, you've just started. You have to continue with that tempo of prayer. You cannot stop. Why? Because life is war and it's also a continuous war. And that is why we must never give up. We must never give up. The Lord will help us in the precious name of Jesus. Our short presentation this afternoon is dealing with contrary wind. How do you deal with contrary wind? When the wind is blowing contrary in your life. How do you deal it with it? Dealing with contrary wind. And the Bible passage is Acts 27. I'm going to read quickly because of our time. Acts 27. And when it was determined that we should sail into Italy, this, was talk this is Paul. And certain other prisoners, and of course, the centurion, Augustus Band. And entering into a ship of Adramatos, we launched Mini to sail by the coast of Asia. And the next day, we touched at Sidon. And Julius courteously entreated Paul and gave him liberty to go unto his friend to refresh himself. Verse 4. And when we launched from tents, we sailed under Cyprus because the winds were contrary. They were sailing. The winds were contrary. I pray that every contrary wind in your life, it will cease today. In the name of Jesus. And there, the centurion found the ship of Alessandra sailing to Italy. That's verse 6. And he put us there in. And when we are say, slowly, many days. They were sailing slowly because the wind was what? Were contrary. They could not move. They could not move. They could not move. And scars were come against Sinidus. The wind was suffering us not. We sail on that crater over against Salmon. And hardly pressing it, passing it, came onto a place which is called the Fair Heaven. Nine where unto was the city of Lazia. Now when much time was spent and when sailing was now dangerous. There are some times that sailing become dangerous. As of now, for many of us, sailing through life is dangerous. But today, the Lord will resolve all the problem. In the name of Jesus. Because the fast was now already passed. And Paul admonished them and said unto them, Sir, I perceive that the voyage will be, will, will be with hurt and much damage. Not only in laden and ship, but also of our life. If Paul was convinced that at this point, oh, the ship will be destroyed and they will lose their lives. Are you at that point where you look at everything and you tell yourself, there is no hope anymore. Today, the Lord will deliver you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Nevertheless, the general believed the master and the owner of the ship more than those that were spoken by Paul. The truth is, everybody needs wind in our life. We cannot survive without wind. Wind can accelerate you or it can decelerate you. It can accelerate you. A wind can make journey to be faster. It can also make journey to be slower. If you are flying an aircraft and you have a tailwind, the tailwind can push your aircraft such that a nine-hour journey can become seven and a half hours because you have a tailwind. But if you have a headwind that is pushing against your plane, it can also reduce your speed such that a journey of nine hours can become ten hours 
That is the effect of wind. That is why contrary wind is not good. But the good news about contrary wind in aviation is that even though they don't like it, it's also good because one, when there is contrary wind, when you are flying, if you are taking off, maybe Abuja Airport, and you are flying into headwind, because of the headwind, it will lift the plane immediately up. So if the plane is supposed to be taking off and struggling, if you fly into headwind, it will lift it up. You are still at maybe 5,000 feet. You can take you to 10,000 feet. You will see it go up. Some of us will not understand because we are flying against a contrary wind. It means because you are flying against contrary wind now, your official is bright. Your official is bright. Your official is bright. And you will get there in the name of Jesus. Another thing about contrary wind, if you are, to, if you are about to land and you are also flying to a headwind, the headwind will slow the plane down naturally. The plane will slow down naturally. So your landing will be very smooth. But if you are flying and you have a tailwind, you will have a rough landing. I pray you will not have a rough landing. In the name of Jesus. That place that God has prepared for you, you will land there safely. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. I want us to say, Father, Father, it is time for my breakthrough. It is time for my breakthrough. Let the contrary win that I've experienced in my life. Let it result in my lifting. Let the contrary win that I've experienced in my life. Let it result in my lifting. In the name of Jesus. Let it result in my safe landing. In my easy landing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. I want us to look at various examples of what wind can do in the Bible. If you look at Genesis 8, Genesis 8, 1 to 2, talking about Noah. The Bible says, God remember Noah. And God made a wind to pass over the heart. And the water assuaged. Are you about to sink in death? Are you about to sink in sickness? That water will assuage this afternoon. The, because the wind of the Lord will blow in, the, in your favor. In the name of Jesus. The wind of God will blow in your favor. And that water will assuage. You will not sink. In the name of Jesus. In Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. Talking about the valley of dry bone. Going through that valley of dry bone. It was wind that gave them life. It was wind. Verse 9 says, Toss, toss, Then he said unto me, Prophesy into the wind. It was wind. I pray in the name of Jesus. As the wind is blowing over Nigeria. The wind of ever will blow in your direction. It will give you life more abundantly in the name of Jesus. It was the wind that assisted the children of Israel to pass through the Red Sea in Exodus 14 21. I pray as the wind of the Lord is blowing you this afternoon, doors will begin to open unto you. Gates that were closed here to fall, they will open by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. God does not want you to give up. He has a plan for your life. And you will realize that plan in the name of Jesus. What can contrary wind do? What are those things contrary wind can do in our life? So that we'll, we'll see. We'll be able to examine what has been going on. We'll know whether it's contrary wind or not. Number one that we have seen, contrary wind make men and women to accept alternatives that they will never go to. After they've tried and tried and tried, people will now come and suggest to them, I can take you to one place. They can solve the problem there. Number one thing is that it makes us to do what? To accept alternative. Number two, contrary wind, it slows men down in life. Where you're supposed to be in two years. If you are still struggling, ten years, you are not there. That is contrary wind. The person will not be sailing at that dividing program speed that God has given. But today, Every contrary wind will switch in your life in the name of Jesus. It makes people to waste time. We see that in this Act 27, 7 and 8. People will waste time. They slow down and they are, they are, they are behind schedule. Somebody is supposed to get married at age 26, 27. By 43, he's still struggling. By 50, still struggling. That is what contrary wind can do. But today, that will cease in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He makes men to give up. Number four, he makes men to give up and they become hopeless. 
They give up. And that is why, that's the point where suicidal talk will begin to come. To say, what am I really doing? I'm useless. What is it? Is it not better to just die? To just end it and rest and leave myself? That is what contrary wind can do. Verse 14 of Acts 27 says, But not long after, there arose against a tempestuous wind called Eurocliton. It just made them, they just gave up. And Paul was saying, he can perceive that this particular ship will not only sink or wreck, but even was inside. He gave up. He gave up hope. He gave up hope. Are you, are you feeling hopeless in any situation? That hope will be can do today, and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Number five, he makes men to engage in fruitless labor. Fruitless labor. Walking like elephant and eating like ant. That is what contrary wind can do. It, it becomes, you have abnormal struggle. Abnormal struggle. Some people have struggled so much in their lives that now they're about to give up. But God is saying, don't give up. And that is why God is showing us the example of Jacob. Jacob, to our to attention, this afternoon. If you look at Jacob, Jacob struggled. Jacob passed through about five or six levels of struggle. At birth, he struggled. The Bible tells us in Genesis 25, 26, he was holding the heel of Esau. He struggled at birth. To so come out, Jacob struggled. Even to get his bat right, he struggled to get that bat right. To get his father's blessing, what did he do? He had to do what? He had to struggle. In Genesis 27, 21 to 27. Of course, when he wanted to marry, and he met Laban, another 419 like him, he had to struggle. He spent seven years that he wants to marry Rachel. After seven years, they gave him Leah. And so he has to do another what? Seven years. That's contrary wind. So he struggled. He struggled. When he wanted to get his reward from Laban, he has to struggle until God decided to help him. And of course, he had to also struggle with the angel. You will see that Jacob, that is Israel of today, struggle and struggle. But at the end of the day, what happened? He succeeded. Whatever struggle you have gone through in your life, you will succeed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree an hand to your struggle. In the name of Jesus. I decree an end to your struggles in the name of Jesus. Whatever struggle you may have passed through in the past, it comes to an end today. In the name of Jesus. Struggle makes men to begin to throw away their belongings. Some people, they just sell their belongings. Because as they are struggling, they have to sell their property, they lose everything. When you look at Acts 27, 18 to 19, the Bible says, and we've been exceedingly tossed with a tempest. The next day, they lighten the ship. And, and the third day, we cast out with our own hands the tackling of the ship. Tackling are all the riggings and the cranes that are on the ship that they used to carry the cargo. So they felt maybe the ship was too heavy. With their own hand, they threw away everything. Yet, the tempest did not stop. Many people, they've sold all their properties. They've sold everything. Yes, the storm keep coming. But that storm come to an end today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And when there is storm, men will understand. You will lose appetite. Maybe women will not lose appetite. I don't know. But I know that when there is storm, a man cannot eat. When you look at that, 27, for 14 days they were fasting. And Paul was telling them, go and eat. They said they will not eat. They lost their appetite. Because they could see death staring them in the face. Whatever is making you to lose appetite. We come to an end today. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says there is not a man gains in this world that to eat and drink and find satisfaction in his work. When you now, you are unable to eat, then you have gained nothing. The Lord will make you, make you, make you to overcome every storm. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It causes shipwreck. We saw that eventually, by the time they landed, the ship was wrecked. But nobody, none of them lost their life. You will not lose your life. In the name of Jesus. When you look at four, Mark 4, Mark 4, 35, it prevents people from going to the next level. Because they said, let us go to the other side. And what happened? The wind came. So wind prevents people from going to the next level. But for you, you will get to the next level. In the name of Jesus. You will get to the next level. In the name of Jesus. But I want you to note something there. 
they were only able to get to the next level because Jesus was in their boat. Let's read that Mark 4. Mark 4, starting from 30. Let me read 37. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was, that's Jesus, in the inner part of the ship, asleep on the pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. This afternoon, Jesus is saying, Peace be still. To every storm in your life, Jesus is saying, Peace be still. But Jesus must be in your boat. If you are here this afternoon, you are not born again. In a moment, we are going to call for people that want to give their life to Christ. Please, just rush forward. You don't need to pretend. So that all the prayers we are going to pray, God can make them to come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus. So the condition for peace be still, the condition for contrary winds to stop blowing, is the fact that Jesus must be in your boat. And I pray that the grace for you to accept Christ, he will give to you this afternoon in the precious name of Jesus. And of course, we know that contrary wind, they want to sink men. They want people to sink. They want to sink. Remember Peter. Peter, Jesus Christ called Peter. And Peter began to walk on water. And at a point, he was afraid. And he began to do what? He began to sink until Jesus Christ rescued him. You will not sink in Jesus' name. You will not sink in Jesus' name. And of course, we know that contrary wind, he terminates life and he kills completely. When you look at the book of Job, Job chapter 1 verse 18, Job 1 verse 18, the Bible tells us why he was here speaking, there came also another and said, thy sons and daughter were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house. And he fell on the young men and they are dead. And I only, I am escaped. The, no, the contrary wind will not kill you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wind is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. If you are flying and there is a sudden change of wind at low altitude, maybe 5,000 feet above sea level, that aircraft is going to come down. Nothing can stop it. That's why sometimes as you are flying, the pilot will tell you, we have a wind shear. We are going to go back. Because if there is wind shear around the airport, that aircraft is bound to crash. You will not enter a wind shear. In the name of Jesus. Contrary wind will not blow against you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have mentioned this afternoon. If you are here this afternoon and you don't have Christ in you. We want all eyes closed. All eyes closed. All heads bow. If you are here this afternoon, you do not have Christ. You are not born again. In the name of God, I want you to come forward even as I count from one to five. Just come forward. Come forward even as we begin to count from one to five. One, one. If you're not born again, come forward this afternoon. As they come, let's appreciate them. Come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward. And every contrary wind that has been blowing in your life before now, it will stop in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Contrary wind will stop in your life as you give your life to Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Two, 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 two. If you are there, don't be shy. Come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward. If you are there, if you are online, you want to give your life, I believe we have our form online, fill our form online. Come forward. Three, 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 you are here. So that we, because as we want to pray, we want to make sure that our prayers are effective and all of us benefit from that prayer. Four, 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 and five. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's be upstanding as we pray. Let's be upstanding as we pray. As we, we're going to be praying and we're going to be praying along the point. How do we deal? How do we deal? We've talked about contrary winds, what it can do. How do we deal with them? So we take the passage and we pray. Now, number one thing is that we get a prophetic word from God. In Acts 27 verse 34, the Bible says, Wherefore, I pray you take some meat, for this is for your health, for there shall not an hair fall from the any head of you. This was Paul. He gave them prophetic words. He said, no, one, one hair will not fall from your head. I want us to say, Father, Father, 
Father, I prophesy this afternoon that all contrary wind blow in my direction we cease henceforth in the name of Jesus. Rather than walking against me, the wind of God will walk for me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The wind will not destroy anything in my life. It will not destroy anything in my life. In the name of Jesus. One hair on my head will not fall. The Lord will restore me completely. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' precious name we are praying. So when you are faced with contrary wind, we look for a prophetic word. We go into the Bible, we look for a word that addresses the situation, and we speak that word. And that wind will cease in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in 3 John, 3 John 2, it said, I wish above all things that you may prosper. So the word of God is that you prosper. I want to say, Father, I will prosper. I will prosper in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Isaiah 50, 50 verse 7. Isaiah 50 verse 7. The Bible says, I know the Lord God will help me. I know the Lord God will help me. That is why I have set my face like a flint. And I know I will not be ashamed. I know I will not be ashamed. Let's say, Father, send up my way. Let me not be ashamed. Let me not be ashamed. Let every contrary wind in my life let them cease now. Let them cease now. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Revelation 3 7, it says, Is that the king of David is holy and true? Is the one that opened and no man shut, and the one that shut that no man opened. I want us to say, Father, Father, every door of opportunity that has been closed against me. I command them, open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Number two prayer. We can overcome contrary wind by a command of faith. Christ look at that wind and say, peace what? Peace be still. You are going to look at that wind in your life this afternoon and say, peace be still. You know the wind. Let's say, Father, I command this wind. Peace be still. And mention that wind by name. You know the wind. You know it. No. Command it. Command it. Jesus Christ said, peace be still. Peace be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. Command the wind to stop. Then the wind. Stop. Stop. Stop now. Stop now. Stop now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. The third prayer point to overcome wind, contrary wind, is to pray desperate prayers. Desperate prayers. If you look at Matthew, Matthew 14, 30, Peter cried to the Lord when he was sinking. He said, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. I want us to say, Lord, save me. Lord, save me, oh Lord, save me, save me, save me, save me from this contrary wind. Lord, save me from this contrary wind. In the name of Jesus, pray desperate prayer. Oh, Lord, save me, 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 Lord, save me. Tell God, tell God that situation and save God, just like Peter cried. Lord, save me, oh, Lord, save me, save me, save me from stagnation, save me from disappointment, take me from my marital trouble, take me, save me, save me from disease, let this cancer, let it go, let it go, let it go, Lord, save me, pray desperate prayer, pray desperate prayer, God will answer you, God is here, God will answer you, God will answer you, tell God to save you from that situation. He will answer you. He will heal you. He will provide for you. He will strengthen you. He will protect you. He will protect your children. Your children will do well. Your life will make meaning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every appointment with destruction. 
Every appointment with death, they are cancelled. As you shout, Lord, save me. 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 In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Before we pray the last prayer, I want us to give our offerings. We have the basket at the hall. Please um, put your offerings in the basket, and then we'll take the last prayer. We'll take the last prayer. The last re- way that you can actually deal with contrary wind is to do what? Return to sender. Return to sender. How to yes. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. In Isaiah 37, Isaiah 37, verse from verse 33, the Bible says, Therefore, thus say the Lord, concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with a shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same way shall he return. Somebody shall return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return. And shall not come into this city, said the Lord. For I will defend this city. For I will defend this city. I begin to shout, return to sender. Every arrow of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Return to sender. Every arrow of the enemy. Return to sender. Father, defend me. You have promised. For I will defend this city. For I will defend it for my own sake. And my servant will be sick. And my people shall not be ashamed. Father, defend me. Every arrow of the enemy, every arrow of the wicked, return to sender. Return to sender. In the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. So shall it be for you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we just want to say thank you. Father, I want to thank you for your word that has come our way. For the deliverance that have come our way. For all the contrary that are alive, they have ceased henceforth. Because the wind of evil is blowing in our direction. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. In the name of Jesus. Father, you've told us in your word. You said before you, we call, you will answer us. While we are here speaking, you will perform. Father, we will see practical manifestation of these prayers in our life this week. In the name of Jesus. 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 Behold, Father, this is the offering of your children. Father, we have brought this our offering in faith and in love and in righteousness. Father, we ask that you accept us. You accept our offering. In the name of Jesus. Father, you have told us anytime we come before you, we should not come empty. Father, let us receive blessing of obedience. In the name of Jesus. Where this has come from, Father, increase the source, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. In Zechariah 9.12, the Bible says, Turn ye to your stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare to you that you shall receive double. You will receive double for your trouble. In the name of Jesus, double door will open unto you. Double opportunity will open unto you. Abundance will open unto you. In the name of Jesus. 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 The Bible tells us when Jacob was going to leave Padaranam, God blessed him. As you are leaving this sanctuary this afternoon, the Lord will bless you. As you are entering your houses, the Lord will bless you. As you are going to your offices, the Lord will bless you. In everywhere you find yourself this month, this year, the Lord will bless you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let us remember tomorrow, Thursday, Faith Clinic, and then our prayer for Nigeria, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Let's share together the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore.
Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Have a good afternoon.